Good afternoon, cult members, and welcome to the Pop Culture Cult. I am Sean, and this is our trailer reaction for Red Sparrow. Now, we did get another trailer. It's kind of a teaser trailer, I guess. Uh, uh, maybe two months back? Mid-November, something like that? And it was kind of surprising, because it was uh, uh, Jennifer Lawrence doing what looked like uh, the Black Widow uh, the from Marvel. And so, uh, Agent Romanoff played by different characters what it kind of looks like and so um very interested to see what this is uh something maybe a little outside of jennifer lawrence's um normal movies although she did do hunger games which was very emotional but had a lot of physical stuff going on in it so very interested to see what this is like so here's our trailer trailer reaction to red sparrow go morning mama what is it I have to go away for a while. I love the accent. I was He's told actually... to take a man to a hotel. They said he was an enemy of the state. Take off your dress. And in exchange, my mother would get the doctor she needed. Oh, so they bribed Instead, you. Instead, they cut his throat. There could be no witnesses. So they gave me a choice. Die or become a sparrow. Ooh, it's kind of bond. Stay forward, like you will become sparrow. Bond kind of feel. Weapons in a global struggle for power. It's the Cold You'll War from the Russian point of view. Psychological manipulation. You must learn to push yourself beyond all limitation. Take off your clothes. When we are finished with you, the person you were will no longer exist. That's Every awesome. human being is a puzzle of need. You must become the missing piece, and they will tell you anything. You have a gift. You know how to survive. This is what you were meant to do. There is a traitor in the government. Marcia. His last known contact is an American. Get close to him. I thought I saw you in the pool yesterday. Ooh. Are we going to become friends? Is that what you want? <sighs> Maybe. She's a sparrow. You only matter because of what you can do for them. Work with me and make these men pay. You are better at this than any of us. Your only problem is you have a soul. Well, yes. We can't trust a word that comes out of her mouth. There's something else we're not seeing. Is there any irons in everything right she now? She will be eliminated. What have you done? You belong to them. They will never let you go. I'll find a way. Mm. All right. That's... That looks interesting. Okay. It's not what I thought it was going to be. Um, it's much more of a spy Bond film than it is the origin story of Natasha Romanoff, which she is a spy. She is a Russian spy. But this is this is... This is the Russian bond. It, it Russian female bond is what it looks like. How they trained her, how to how she uses her body, how she uses her smarts, and and to get trade secrets or um to eliminate people. That's straight up bond stuff. Uh which I think is what they tried to do with Atomic Blonde. Now I loved Atomic Blonde, um, with Charlize Theron and and um, she was a spy and everything like that, but it was much more the action kind of thing. This looks like it's going to have some action stuff in it, but much more of the psychological mind games that went on during the Cold War. That's what it looks like. Now, I could be t completely off base, um, but that's from the initial C of that trailer, that's what it looks like. Joel Egerton um, is a really good actor, guys, and he needs to be in more stuff. I love seeing him in a, in a role like this where he can use what his physicalness is his his stuff that he could do action wise and then um top it off with his actual acting skills and stuff like that and uh jeremy irons like i said is in everything right now and he's always playing that kind of 
is he a good guy? Is he a bad guy? Is he a good guy from his point? I, like you're always questioning what Jeremy Irons is in and, and Jeremy Irons is always a win, always a win. Um, the one thing I kind of had a problem with was, and this is gonna be so petty, so petty. The bang, her bangs look fake. I'm sorry, they just, they're, they're just, they like, they stick out from her forehead too far. It's, God, it's so petty. Uh, but like multiple times, especially when she was a redhead, I was like, oh, those bangs aren't real. Now, she might have had a wig because her hair keeps changing um, throughout the trailer, so she probably has a, a, a wig for the character and stuff, but it just, that was the one thing. Um, but I liked the, you know, the, there's going to be a, training process and how she kills the guy in the shower even though he was trying to attack her and then Jeremy Irons later on saying you're great at this but you have a conscience um, isn't that all how most people are they would be really good at something but they feel guilty about what they do so that's my thoughts I, I, I'm thinking I'm going to like this a spy drama uh, with Jennifer Lawrence and Joel Egerton I uh, oh why not so uh tell us what you think leave us a comment like this video subscribe to the channel you can like us at the pop culture cult on facebook we're pop culture cult one on instagram and we're at pop underscore cult one on twitter and we're also on the stardust app uh download it for free follow pop culture cult first please subscribe to this channel though and until next time good night now